Have you ever liked a photo so much that you wanted to use on social media or even to print out but you couldn't because of its background? If so, then just continue watching. In this tutorial, I'll explain how I changed this photo's background from this to this in less than 15 minutes. Hi, and welcome back to Tips with Mona. If you haven't seen my face before, my name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this channel, I explain some designing tricks. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notifications bell on. But for now, let's continue the tutorial. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is this folder. So I have this image. This is a wedding image. And as you can see, it's taken in a parking basement. So we want to change that and to make it look more like a country wedding or something like this. So I have chosen this image to place the bride and groom here. For that, I'll start with this image. I'll open with Photoshop. Okay, so this is our background. And now I'll just go to this image and drag it to Photoshop. I'll try to scale it. And I'll place it here and now I'll try to remove this background for that I'm gonna be using this command over here which is called object selection tool okay and then I'll select the people in the photo but before that I'll rasterize my image so we right click on the layer rasterize layer okay after that I'll go to select and mask over here and I'll go to overlay and now I'll show you why then I'll zoom in and try to enhance the selection for that you have these tools over here so you have the quick selection here you have refine selection here and you have the brush selection tool here okay I'll go to the brush selection tool increase the size a little bit and then click on the minus and then try to select the missed areas you have to be very specific here only on the places that the object selection did not choose if you can notice right here we need to remove the selection from her face so i'll go to the plus sign and try to remove the selection from here and from his suit and now i'll go to her dress the bottom is really sensitive because as you can see her dress is made of tulle and we need to be really careful when we get close to her dress so i'll do this real quick And then I'll zoom in right here and then I'll try to use this command which is refine hair it's not always working on all the images but it does the job sometimes so you have to experiment if it will work or not okay so in this case it didn't work maybe it did for the guy but it didn't for the girl so it deselected her hair so I'll just reselected real quick because I like the result on the guy's head but I'll enhance it on the girls okay and now I'll try to take a final look and I'll use I'll use the refine edge brush to make a quick run all over the edges of this selection Okay, and then you can click on black and white to see if we've missed anything. See here. So now 
I'll go back to the brush, select minus, and then just retouch these places all around her hair. So here you have views. The black and white will allow you to select really carefully the edges. And then you can go to on layer to see how it will look on the layer. Of course, don't forget that we did not change the colors or anything. We will do that later. Okay. Now let me just show you. Now let me just show you this global refinements. Let's zoom in to see the differences. So smooth will give you smoother selection and we don't want that feather feather will make the selection really blurry and we don't want that as well maybe you can use a little bit of this but actually i don't like that contrast will uh, give you really sharp edges also the shift edge will show you some of the brush effect it will increase the brush effect so i'd rather keep it on zero and then right here you can select the output selection you can say that you want layer mask and then you can hit ok okay so this is our layer with a mask now the photo doesn't match the background for that i'll select the image i'll go to image adjustment and then i'll go to match color okay and here we can select the source of the color the source of the color is the same as this file which is country background the source of the layer is layer one which is this one okay see now it gave me the colors and here we can play with the uh, intensity of the color so i don't want it really intense i'll increase the fade maybe this is good and then i'll change the intensity as well i'll just try to make it match the background but without exaggerating i'll hit ok okay so now i still feel like it's not blending so for that I'll go to my masking layer. I'll zoom in into the chiffon areas in her dress. I'll select a black brush. I'll make the opacity 5% and I'll try to blend her dress with the background. So basically, we're making the chiffon look like it's transparent, which is real in the real life. The chiffon is always transparent or translucent. Okay, and then I'll try to create some shadow under the bride and groom. For that, I'll duplicate their layer. I'll double click. I'll go to color overlay black and then I'll select outer glow. So I increased the opacity. I reduced the noise to zero. For the spread, I used 32. For the size, I used 180. For the range, I used 100. And for the jitter, I used 0. I'll hit OK. And then I'll Ctrl T this image to transform it. I'll, I'll use my Ctrl to distort this layer. And I'll try to keep it at the bottom. And then I'll drag it under the actual layer. And then I'll reduce the opacity and I'll keep playing until I like it. You can always change the scale if you feel that you want to increase the scale or if you feel like you want to scale it down, you're totally free to do that. So this is our final product. I'll show you how to save it. I'll go to save as on your computer. I'll choose PNG and I'll rename it to wedding I'll use large file and now I'll show you the before and after in three two one this is the before and this is the after
so before and after of course you may find more advanced methods to do that but i always try to show you the fastest and the easiest ways to accomplish the best results in a very short time thank you so much for watching so this is the end of our tutorial today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one please don't forget to subscribe like share and hit the notifications bell on see you in the next one bye